We just added in some saltine crackers. Now for the next step. We just placed in two butter sticks. Now we're gonna add in one cup of brown sugar. And we will just give this all a nice good mix until we make a really delicious caramel for our saltine crackers. All right, that looks perfect. Now let's get back to our saltine crackers. All right, now let's pour over our glaze onto the saltine crackers. Ooh, it's looking so good. Now I know you guys have probably seen this done before, but we're gonna make it a little extra special for the holiday that's coming up. It's gonna be so beautiful, so festive, fun. You guys will love it. So let's get all of that on there. Beautiful. All right, we are almost done with this. But first, let's go ahead and pop this into the oven, 350 degrees for about seven minutes. Okay, I just pulled these out of the oven. Now it is time to jazz it up. Now I know you guys have probably seen this done for Christmas, but we're gonna do it for Valentine's. So I'm gonna take some white chocolate chips and just sprinkle that right on top. The caramel is gonna kind of help to melt those chips there. So pretty. I'm gonna use this whole bag. All right, perfect. And now we're gonna add in some pink candy melts that I've already melted. I'm gonna use my spoon to just kind of give it a nice little look here. Just drizzling that on. And then the white chocolate will melt since the caramel is still super hot. You can also smear it if you want, but I just want to give it like a different kind of texture here, make it extra yummy. Ooh, this is looking so cute. It sure is. Look at that. Oh, it smells so good. I love white chocolate, you guys. I am not a regular chocolate person, and I think that's kind of rare to even find someone that's into white chocolate. But oh, I think it's so good. So call me crazy, but all right, I'm gonna use this entire container. Mm -mm -mm. It's looking pretty, you guys. All right, just one more little splatter here. Yeah. Okay, so now before I add the final step, I'm just gonna take a spatula just to kind of gently go across. There we go. Ooh, it's looking so good. Oh my goodness. I love the colors. So pretty. Oh, perfect for Valentine's Day. Guys, if you're watching this, definitely make this for your woman. But this is even great as like a snack. Your Galentine's Day, if anyone does that. Oh, so gorgeous. All right, I'm just going to... Get those edges there and then we are good to go and it's okay if it doesn't melt all the way with those white chocolate chips you could if you want put it back in the oven to finish the melting or you could just leave it just to give it a little extra texture I'm gonna leave it cuz I just love that white chocolate and I am okay with that okay here we are great now this part's optional, but I've got some sprinkles I'm going to add. So Valentine's sprinkles are not out at my local store quite yet, but I did have these already in my pantry, so I'm gonna go ahead and use them. And honestly, I think these ones taste really good. Oh, we got a chunk, let's get that out. No one likes that much. There we go. Oh, it's looking so cute. All right, we're good to go now. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this into my fridge for about one hour. Oh my gosh, it looks so cute. You guys, we are ready. We're gonna flip it and make our bark. Oh, and. All right, I think we're good. Oh, yum. Oh my, oh my gosh, okay. I've got a cute little platter here and no looks crazy but that is bark for you and we'll just get the best pieces onto our platter oh my goodness these look so good and i love how thick it is oh it smells so good 
Mm -mm -mm. Just break that apart, get whatever size pieces you want. Yum, you could even wrap these up into some little baggies and give it as gifts for people. That would be super cute. And you know how kids are always giving little Valentines at school. I'm not sure if they still do that. They did it when, my, when I was going to school, but that would be a great idea to send your kid with these. All right, oh my gosh. Yummy, okay, and there we have it. Just the most cute bark. Oh wow, okay. I normally don't eat chocolate, but I'm gonna try it just a bite because it just looks so good. That was way too good. So good, try it.